All right, so yesterday, if you might have seen, I did make a video on my reformatting of the tier list. And now, every time I update uh, or rank a unit, I will be ranking them both in a PvP and PvE tier list. Um, but I will not be just making two separate videos, it will just be one. I feel like that way it's better, so you can actually have a more fair and reasonable ranking of specific units. As I mentioned, it's a work in progress. Please give me suggestions of how I could improve. And um, if you disagree with rankings, uh, <laughs> of course, but mostly I would like to see um, more of the structure, uh, criticism of the structure, more of the <laughs> over the rankings themselves. Um, so I use this website, right? Tier Maker. It's very, it's so simple to just use Tier Maker because they give you such a good template. But actually, I have some issues with Tier Maker because one thing that I would love to do with the PVE tier list is that um, I can only really have one of each character, right? Unless I re-upload them. But I would love to have a character being multiple tiers for the PVE tier list. Um, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second, so maybe... I, I won't do that this video, but let me know if you'd like to see that. I'll have to re-upload the images and rank them again, um, which I can do off-screen, um, but let me know if you'd like to see that, because a lot of characters, mainly Green Golfer, could be in, like, every tier, right? He's good in every activity, so... <laughs> so, yeah, for the PV tier list, I think the way I wanted to do was more of a listing of where characters are good for over an actual regular tier list so these are the tiers i came up with bird killers i think would be at the top even though again this is not a oh top is overly better than anyone below um, i still would prefer the top should be as viewed as a very important uh, and i feel like bird killer would be the most important of all titles because in pve currently bird is the only difficult activity in the game. Um, you can argue some specific activities could be viewed as tough, but those activities usually you have to beat once and you don't have to ever think about them again. Um, sort of like um, story, story mode is not hard, but <laughs> sort of like reverse stages and to an extent uh, the tower, those activities you beat once and you never think about them again, whilst the bird, you gotta beat the bird like 40 times per week if you wanna farm the materials to get a holy relic. So, I think it's very important. Uh, farming characters, again, I wouldn't pull f necessarily say farming characters are way, way important. The Belmont characters, I just put them there because, I don't know, I, there's no reason really. Just, the, 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 the rankings from top to bottom don't actually matter, I just, but I still... Would prefer Bird Killer to be the top regardless. Belmov, Halex, Grey, Red. Uh, second options. I put second options because I would not want to put, let's say, um, Slater, Blue Slater, as a Red Demon God. Because he's just not anymore. There are much better options. But, he's a good second option. So, uh, fourth slots, obviously. Uh, characters that I wouldn't, I wouldn't use in the front, but fourth. Uh, decent if needed. This is a category that I think is very good for characters that aren't very good in specific scenarios. Actually, I think decent is a poor word for what I actually mean. Um, amazing if needed. Because a character, for instance, that I'm going to be putting here is um, Assault Melee, right? Assault Melee doesn't have any practical use in the game when it comes to these activities, but if you want to use him on tower, he's amazing. One category I'm going to have to actually add after I submit, because you can only put 10 right here, is uh, um, guild, guild, um, guild boss, and then skip ticket are the garbages. Uh, not necessarily garbage, because some characters have their niches, but... You know, if a character is really good for uh, boss stages, well, he would be better off being a skip ticket. <laughs> so, uh, let me submit, and I will actually add it right now. I'll just keep the colors they gave me, 
But above second options, I'm gonna actually put um, a guild, guild boss. And let me color this black, because why not? Nah, it, it, it's difficult to read white, because why not? So, oh man, there's so many tiers. Let's start with skip ticket. Um, and we're gonna work our way up. Actually, let's start first with like amazing if needed skip ticket. So, um, I think Green Arthur could go in this category. He's fantastic if you need him. Um, skip ticket. Um, guild boss. I'm I'm gonna go like this. I think actually, I'm gonna go from um, yeah. Fourth slot is good for fourth slot if you want an extra attack. Uh, Blue Arthur is, is actually very good for Red Demon, so I'm gonna put him there. Um, you're not really good for PvE. Not really good for PvE, not really good for PvE. Uh, really good for Guild Boss. Ban, he doesn't really have much of an odd, odd, another practical use, but he's really good for Guild Boss. And again, he could be actually amazing if you need him, so. Um, skip Ticket, uh, Bird Killer, of course, Brain Hilder. I'm actually changing this to Presentation Mode, so it's Dark Mode. Uh, Forb Slot. Um, Unneeded. Chandler is amazing if needed. No specific use, but amazing if needed. Red Askinler can go there. Kusok is a bird killer. You might not have seen from me uh, talking about Kusok as a bird killer um, because I, I can't really use him as a bird killer just because my Kusok doesn't really have 6-6, uh, six, six, but he is absolutely amazing for the bird. Um, I would say blue draw. Mm, over green draw. I, I see no reason why green draw would be any good in PvE, really, to be honest. Um, and I'm just gonna keep on. Oh, guild boss. I almost, almost put it in the wrong category there. Guild boss. Um, bird killer. Uh, fourth slot, of course. So, like I said, this will be. Something that, of course, I would love to update um, with whatever new units release, but uh, I don't know how, like, <laughs> how serious I should be about this specific tier list over the PvP tier list, because really, PvE is like, if a unit doesn't have a specific use, there's, like, not much of a reason to even rank them at all. Um really so it's like eh like let me let me get you um I'll, I'll put a hawk here as a asterisk if he has this passive boosted um let me put make an example right like um if theoretically Kyo would be a phenomenal character but he doesn't have a practical use right so it's really hard for me to say, oh yeah, he's just an S tier character for PvE, when really he doesn't have a practical use, does he? Um, I'm not gonna put Hauser as a farming god, he's just not that great. Uh, I would put him as a second option, actually. Um, I'll put him as a second option. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't have Ru going, you still want to use... Oh, I, I should put him gray. And you still want to use uh, him as your farming peers team for whatever reason. As Liz goes there, you go on... Uh, eh, you can go in, in second options. I would not say that you are great. Actually, so can... I don't think you're a farming god. I think you're amazing if you're needed. But I wouldn't call him a farming god. Okay, Margaret, of course, is a bird killer. Matron is a bird killer. The other Matron can go there. Assault Melee is amazing if needed. Counter Melee. Where do I want to put Counter Melee? <laughs> I don't, like, legitimately, there's no activity in the game he's actually good for. But as a meme, I would love to, of course, put him up there. Um, Merlin is fantastic for Grey. This Merlin is amazing if needed, if you want to ult rush. Red Merlin, you could argue it's good for Guild Boss, but this guy is way better, so there's no reason to ever use her. Um, yeah, this Merlin's 
fantastic if you need her, but I would not say... Actually, you're... You're good for the, the right demon. Really good for the right demon. I wouldn't say that she's like fantastic or anything. Just... Marmus is a good fourth slot if you need the HP. Of course. Man, most of these units just don't have a practical use. It's really... It's really hard to like... Say, oh yeah, this unit is amazing. Um, I am actually going to put Pierce as amazing farmer. So, Sauriel is... So, Sauriel for me, he's good for the bird. But is very inconsistent to actually beat stage 3 with him over any character that I will actually put in this tier. So I will not be putting him there. Just like the one Ascanor. The one Ascanor has proven to actually be um, a solid option that can actually beat stage 3 of the bird if you have, let's say, the... Um, it's 30% defense, so PV is kind of useless. <laughs> um, let's say you have the healing card set and you have Matrona. Yes, you can actually use the one and you could beat stage three, but it's not nearly as practical as someone like um, Margaret or anything like that. You know, it, it, it's, it's not nearly as practical. Oh, oh, did I put the other Jericho here as well by accident? Yeah. See, this is, this is why you guys need to keep me in check, okay? Things just slip, sl, sl, uh, slip through the cracks, all right? I haven't even put anyone on Halex and Belmoth yet. Haven't got to them yet. Um, I guess I'll put Red, Galfer, and Halex. Because uh, I put him in second option, because, you know, he's a second option to Green Galfer. But, you know. Second option. She's a good second option for the the uh, red demon so I'll put it there she is amazing for the red demon uh do you have any practical use not really not really are we almost done with every unit in the game there's no way there's no way <laughs> there's no way right are we actually maybe I should <laughs> maybe I should but, okay, actually, these two bonds are good second options. I, I'm I'm not gonna be as harsh. Like Red Demon has, because Red Demon is so easy. Uh, she's a good second option for the Gray Demon. Because the the Red Demon is so easy, it's like lots of things are good. Uh, Asterosa is amazing if needed. If you need specifically Asterosa, finally someone should put on Belmoth. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, right? I'll, I'll put the end here. She's not as good as Matrona, but I'll put her there. Um, the thing is, right, like, Green Galfer is a fant fantastic unit for Belmoth, but he's she, he's already here, so, right? So I think I, I maybe should uh, do that thing where I add them again and re-put... This is a good second option for Holix. And re-put... The unit in another tier. Like, Green Galfer could go uh, on Belmoth, he could go on Farm God, he could go on Guild Boss, he can go on Second Option, he can go on Amazing, he can go everywhere. So it's, it's, he's good for Belmoth. Green Galfer is just something else, right? She's good for Belmoth. Uh, useless. Useless. Uh, isn't, isn't Red Liz actually decent for something? I don't think so. Should I put her on... I mean, it's is it even fair to put her on Halex? Like, she's she's a good fourth because she gives you an extra... I mean, she's... She is actually good for Halex, never mind, because her passive actually does work as doing something. Because I was just thinking... I, I ranked this girl here, right? Because she doesn't do anything. Like, her cos cosmetic gives you an extra drop on the Red Demon, but... She's not doing anything, right? It would be unfair to, like, uh, this one, because she's actually doing something on Belmoth. Um, but, but, <laughs> actually, uh, her passive actually does work in the back. So, and it's actually good. 
Uh, she's actually good if needed. Um, we're almost done, which is nice. This didn't take so long. I thought it was going to take way longer, just because a lot, a lot of characters are just impractical, right? They don't have a practical use in the game, which is unfortunate. She's good for good boss, still. Which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Tar Meow is good if needed. The one is good for Red Demon. <laughs> Uh, the one. I'm sorry. I might, I might eventually, if um, they su they miraculously drop in everyone's box the healing card set. I'll put the one here, but he's just not very practical. Um, you're not very practical either. Zaratra is good for Belmoth, of course. See, Gray. What is Zal Zaldra's? Is good for Belmoth, kinda, but not for hard stages. So it's it's not. It's not very fair. He he. I, I want to give him second options. I I, I was, if I'm gonna give Green Askin, I want to give him second options as well. So. Um, if I could re-put characters, this would look a little different because I would have. This Liz here as well. And so would Green Gal for V here. And I mean that's about it. What else would I do? I guess um Sauriel would also be here, right? He is the best for that. I guess I, I should put Red Zeldras as a good second option. I should just put I should put him there. Fine, that's fine. Just because there's so little here. And Grey Demon. See, Grey Demon. It's just so little options you have. I might want to put Assault Melly there just to fill it up, right? But it's just not true. Right, assault Melly, if you if you're using if you're using Merlin and King and Green Gal for Assault Melly, is not that great, is it? It's, just, it's it's very untrue. Like you can solo the hell with Assault Melly if you really want to. But it's a little untrue to say that he's optimal for it. Um, I'm, I kind of want to, because again, also he he could go up here, and so could ah, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. All right, just to end it off, let me put Liz also here on gray. I'll put Green Golfer here on gray as well. That's the optimal team for gray. Um, and then. We can put Sario here as well. We can put um, you here, and so can you. And I bought an I brought an extra Margaret, so I can also put in Red because she's also, of course, optimal for it. And then I I got an extra Bond just to put him on um, Amazing if needed because he is a god. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's about, I mean, I, I could, I could bring on another green offer to actually, uh, triple Alex. just pretend there's a green offer here. Okay. I'll put him later. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. Can't wait to update it again. 